What's up, people? How are you doing? Hi, I'm Larry Ajayi, and I'm with you now on channel 1973.1 DT on people, places, and events. This is Master Speaks to Me, the Cargo Edition. Welcome you to this special edition celebrating Canada Day. From me to you, happy Canada Day. It's another beautiful day to remember, to be thankful for, and to celebrate. Canada is a nation that is known for its scenic beauty, diverse culture, and friendly people. But have you ever wondered how old Canada is as a country? Well, today, Canada is 156 years old. Its age counted since the Confederation in 1867, when it officially became a country. And in my usual style, I'm eating the streets from my beautiful city of Calgary to bring you the sight and sound of Canada Day on this special edition of My City Speaks to Me. Chill of My City Speaks to Me, the Canada Day special edition, you know, we're still celebrating a beloved and beautiful country and uh, it's an honor for me to have my sister from another mother. You know, uh, this is an amazing lady that, you know, we work together and uh, she represents through, you know, spirit of the land. And it's uh, an honor for me to have her here today, you know, on My City Speaks to Me, the Canada Day Special Edition. How are you, Chantal? I'm good. How are you, Lenny? I'm very well. You know, anywhere in the crowd, when I see this pink hair, that is you. <laughs> yes. So unique, so beautiful. So I have some questions that I'm just asking, you know, individuals on this special day, you know. It's a day where everybody, you know, is out, you know, dancing, jumping, drinking, partying, and then the sun is so beautiful outside, so, and a lot of activities going on outside. But I still want us to have an understanding of why this day is special, you know. And I have some questions here, and uh, one of the first questions I want to ask you is, how are you celebrating this special day? So, with Indigenous people, this is kind of a, a loaded day. So some of us uh, want to celebrate it because it brings together diversity and understanding. It gives us an opportunity to talk about traditional Indigenous knowledge and the land and our connection to it. But also it's that reminder of our colonial heritage and our past. And so I think it's really important for Indigenous people to step up and share our stories, share our connection to the land, to remember, to welcome everyone into the circle because that was the original spirit and, uh, and intention of the treaty. So it's that reminder of the work that we have to do to come together, but it's also a beautiful reminder of the community that we're creating together. It's our day to celebrate diversity, to celebrate different cultures coming together in such a beautiful way and see our similarities more than our differences. That is amazing. I love that, you know, celebrating our diversities and seeing how we're connected, not our differences, you know. I keep saying to guys that, a lot of folks that, we are unique in our own ways. You know, our foods are very diverse, our clothing, our music, but that is the beauty of life. It said, uh, variety is the spice of life. And that is what we need to keep saying. We need, we need to keep telling our communities that this is a place where we can celebrate our diversities, our uniqueness, because it shows how beautiful humans are. Now, the second question I have for you is that, what do you like most about our country, Canada? Um, I just love the connection to the land. There's so much history here. There's so many beautiful stories here. There's so much indigenous culture here that we can celebrate and understand that will teach us so much about ourselves. Not only how we connect to the land, but how we connect to each other. Yeah. And that's such an important part. Um, a lot of people, when they move to this country, they don't understand that indigenous heritage and that connection that we have to the land. And as soon as they start to you know, hear not only the terrible things that have happened to yeah. indigenous people in this country, but they see the resilience and they see how we can come together and rise above and learn from each other and build community in that meaningful way. Um, and that's where we really see the beauty and that knowledge and that wisdom. A lot of our ceremonies have been here for over 15,000 years. Wow. And when people understand that history, they really have a deeper respect and understanding, but then it allows us to come together to share stories with each other, to share wisdom and songs and food and culture and connection to each other, but also ceremony. And I think that's um, a beautiful thing that I love about our country, 
how we can bring so many people together to create a sense of safety and also to create a sense of community. Sense of safety and sense of community. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. In the same spirit of excitement, I joined the world, especially today, as we celebrate Canada Day. Now, this is one of the most colorful and celebrated holidays in our country. A day filled with a lot of activities from one corner of our city to every part of the nation. One thing about Canada Day is that it's a day to commemorate the Constitutional Act of 1867, when the colonies of Canada, Nova Scotia and New Brunswick signed a unification making the provinces independent into a single country. My name is Hadi. Hadi, where are you from? Iran. Iran. Iran, Iran. So, how are you enjoying Canada? Uh, very, can, I, I found that Canada is very, very beauty. Yeah. And uh, I saw uh, a real life hmm. in Canada. Hmm. I have a, a good chance for uh, see this, uh, Canada Day in Canada in, the, in Canada in trip to Canada. Wow, that wow. is amazing! Now, for you all guys saying that, it's so excited to see Canada Day when he's visiting Canada. Yes, amazing. Yes. Now, do you want to talk to our Iranian brothers and sisters? In your language, tell them how beautiful Canada is. Uh, 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 I talk in Persian, my yes. native language. Yes, yes, oh, go ahead. Okay, very, very good. Man, to Marikaz, Shahr Kaligiri, Canada, I am. Very happy. I am. Because of that, today is Canada Day. It is the day of Canada. It is the Jashn Bari. It is the festival of Canada. و واقعا من این چند روزی که تو کانادا هستم معنای زندگی رو دیدم از مردم کانادا خوبی و خوش رفتاری و ادب رو دیدم مردم کانادا واقعا دارن زندگی میکنن و برای مردم کانادا آرزوی پیروزی بیشتر دارم ایشالا که هرچی بیشتر یک اتحاد یونیتی بیتوین ایران و کانادا استابلیش soon yes unity between canada and iran established soon thank you very much thanks so much yeah, thanks so much chill on city speaks to me here celebrating canada day i run into this gentleman and uh, i'm loving your mustache yeah, everybody does beautiful they say a buddy of mine that i worked with 20 years ago recognized me from this mustache wow wow i haven't seen him in that long that's amazing so what's the name sir my name is keith keith Good to meet you, kid. Yeah, Larry. Now, yeah, my name is Larry. Thank you very yeah. much, and uh, good to have you on this show on this special day. Now, I have some questions I want to ask you. Sure. First of all, how are you enjoying this day? Well, it's a beautiful day here. I mean, you can't ask for a nicer day for people to get out on Canada Day and just enjoy being around. We might get a little rain this afternoon, but that's July weather in Calgary for yeah. you. It's a beautiful day. Okay. I'm, I'm downtown to do a little bit of street photography. Amazing, and, uh, amazing. Life is good. Yeah, good. So, I have some questions for you. Yeah. Now, the question is, number one, what do you like most about our city of Calgary? So, I moved here in 1980, so wow. 43 years ago. Wow. It was a great place to work, and I got lots of good jobs in oil and gas, but it's a great place to live. Mm. You know, just the bike path is amazing. The network there, I spent a lot of time running and biking on it. Um, and lots of friends here. It's just a great place to live. Hmm. Amazing. Now, one more question. What is your favorite activity on Canada Day? Okay, so today it's getting out and just hanging around and doing some street photography. Most days I just relax at home and enjoy the day. Um, we sometimes have a little bit of cake with a candle on it and uh, um, just enjoying being in Canada. We live an amazing life here. Hmm. And you just get out and Sometimes do stuff with my wife, sometimes with friends, have a party in the evening. All depends. Amazing. Happy Canada Day. We'll be right back. You betcha. Thank you. Have a great day, guys. Mm.
Shalom, I say this speaks to me. See you celebrating Canada's special day on July 1st. Uh, we'll be right back. Like I did on this show, don't move a muscle, stretch. We're enjoying today and we're going to bring you more goodies of Canada Day. Let's go. Still on my city speaks to me celebrating Canada's special day, July 1st. And it's an amazing to see, you know, cultural diversity, you know, on the streets of Calgary. And I'm as, and I know and I know that the same thing is happening all over Canada. I'm here with the Sikh community and they're doing some amazing thing here today. So let's meet them. What's the name? Hi, my name is Rabjit Karshega. Pleased nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Harji Koy. And what's your name? My name is Yuvrad Singh. So tell our audience what is happening here today. Yeah, so we're celebrating a day called Shabil. It's uh, the Sikh tradition of giving out a sweet milk drink to passerbys, absolutely no, co uh, no cost. It commemorates the martyrdom of our fifth Sikh Guru, Guru Arjan Dev Ji, who died fighting for religious freedom and fighting against the totalitarian rule of a tyrant state. Uh, his spirit and his wisdom lives on today in us as we celebrate Shabil, as we give the sweet milk drink to passerbys, reminding them to be in uplifted spirits at all times. And the sweetness of this drink reminds us to always be sweet and compassionate to those around us and to accept the will of the divine creator uh, the way it is presented to us. And we're sharing these values of compassion, of righteousness, of spiritual uh, tolerance and freedom with our Canadian brothers and sisters here on Canada Day. Uh, those are values we all imbibe, and we're here to share those uh, with our neighbors. Thank you very much. So I have one question, and uh, one person can just, you know, talk. How are you enjoying this day so far? Well, so far, the weather has been great. We've uh, had some really good interactions with community members. Uh, we've shared our common Canadian values, and um, soon we will be serving the Shabil drink as well. So. Uh, we would ask everyone to stop by and, and have a free drink. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. I thought that I heard you laughing. I thought that I heard you singing. I said it That's me in the corner. My city speaks to me, celebrating Canada's 156th anniversary. Now here, you can see the sound bustling behind me. Yeah, we are at the Eau Claire Market, uh, the Canada Day Special Market. Now, one thing that is unique about this part is the food trucks, the diversity and the varieties of food we have here on this park. Now, as a foodie, Canada Day celebration wouldn't be the same without some good food, right? Now, we have some food trucks for the most diverse days, and we're going to be checking them out right about now. So hang in there. We'll be right back. All right, still on my city speaks to me here at the Oakland Markets. The food section, I told you, Food is one of the special things that you know I get to talk about on this special edition. Now I'm here at Mira Chito, right? Mira Chito. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you have here? What is this? Uh, this is mango. This is mango. Mango in a cup, and this is mango in a flower. This is our traditional way to eat the mango. Okay, so what do you have on the mango? We put a uh, chamoy, but it's a uh, mix. It's a little bit spicy, but it's more sweet. Okay. Yeah. And we add tahir. This is uh, spicy too, with lime. 
Okay. And we have. So you have a mango with uh, this looks like ketchup. Yeah, but it's not ketchup. It's not ketchup. No. Only but spicy. Yeah, and um, it's more sweet. More sweet. So what do you call this? A what? Is, what? What do you call this? Oh, mango, mango en una copa, mango en pedacitos. En pedacitos. En flor de mango. Wow, amazing, amazing. Yeah. Now, so uh, you are here. Where can people get to you to see you? Do you have a store somewhere in Calgary or a shop okay. or in social media? Okay. In case someone watching is interested in buying this. Yeah, yeah. Come to Calgary, come to Mi Ranchito and prove taste or mango <laughs> in a cup. Thank you. You're Bye. welcome. Yeah. How are you? Some amazing men. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very well. What's your name? Um, I'm Al. I'm Al. What's your name? Sharika. Sharika, what's your name? Tell her, beautiful. Now, what do you have here? Poutine. What do you have? Poutine. Poutine. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it very sweet? Amazing. So what are you having? Um, this is the crispy pork belly bao taco from wow. Healthy Hero. Wow. Crispy pork belly tacos. Pretty much, yeah. Wow. <laughs> the same thing, I guess? Yeah, same thing. So tell our audience, how are you enjoying this Canada Day? Um, we're Enjoy celebrating it. Canada's 156? Yeah. Birthday? Yeah. We're having fun. Yeah. Having fun, you? Yeah, I'm having fun, enjoying the sun. Yeah, is there something you want to tell our audience out there? Any goodwill message to the government, to the people, to your friends, families, all over the world? Um, not really, but happy Canada Day. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Canada Day. Thank you very much. Let's meet Toria. How are you, Toria? I'm good, thank you. And you? Now, many times you see this kind of business of skincare. Not necessarily with an African, but we're taking a bold step to do this. Yes, I have. The first thing is, why are you doing this? Um, when I came to Calgary, there was I didn't really find anything that was easily accessible for my skin at a reasonable price. So, and I've made this all my life myself. So I decided to look for the resources here, the supplies, and I started making them, sharing with friends and family at first. Uh, but somehow, somehow, it just took off into a, being a business. Wow! Wow! Now. I've, I can see uh, the one in uh, this is called uh, Toria Skincare. Yeah. This is uh, for, for the face. It's a moisturizer. For the, moisturizer for the face. Yeah. Now this is a body lotion. Body lotion. Yeah. This is a body scrub. And but this, this is, is our best seller. This is the body butter. It's a shea body butter. Yeah. It's liquid oils and essential oil in it. So it's very moisturizing for your skin, especially in this dry Calgary weather. It little goes a long way. This is our best seller so far. Now you said best seller. Yeah. Now. Can I assume that this is all year round, winter, summer? Yes, all year round, perfect for winter when it's more drier. Hmm, when the amazing. weather is drier. So if our audience is watching you and they want to locate you, yes. where can they find you? We're online at touristskincare.com, on Instagram at um, touristskincare. Hmm, amazing. And we're at the ninth and brick in Inglewood. Yes. Wow, lovely. Hmm. So if you need something for your skin, bestseller, come check her out on the social media appearing now on your screen. We'll be right back. Still on my city speaks to me here at the Oakley Market. I told you I'm going to bring you loads of happening on this special Canada Day celebration. And I was walking past and I saw this colorful attire. And you all know that I love colorful fashion. As Africans and Caribbeans, we are vibrant in the choice of colors. You can see this beautiful. <laughs> Do you know this animal? Do you know this kind of uh, bird? Peacock. Yeah. Peacock. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So without much ado, let's meet you. What's your name? My name is uh, Taryn Seckham. This is my husband, Damien Seckham. Amazing. Now yeah. tell us, what is the name of your business? The name of our business is Pamusika. Pamusika. And we are uh, two couples. So our other partners uh, will be here later on. Okay. Yvonne Josamu and Alwyn Mukurumiza. Okay. And uh, we collectively came up with the idea to uh, bring African-inspired uh, clothing apparel to uh, to Canada. Amazing. Because we felt that uh, we needed a little bit more color in yeah. the world. So, yes, 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 uh, yes. We felt nostalgic for these colors. We've been in Canada for over two decades now. Wow. And so, yeah, we just love, we just love these colors and it makes us feel right at home. Yeah. You know, uh, one thing about Canada is that it's a multiculturalist, you know, state where you have a diverse cultures, you know, people from all over the world coming together and they share a bit of the culture. And that was what makes our, our nation beautiful. And like I'm seeing this jacket, yes. 
Yeah. Now I've seen this kind of jacket like all black, all white, all gray. Yeah. But with this, man, you're gonna be yeah. noticed. Yes. Anywhere it's you are. One of it's a unique, it's different. Yeah. Now, what do you call this? We call it our puffer vest, hmm. uh, African inspired print. So we use the wax fabric that is uh, particular to the African continent. And we have many different designs. And uh, we just wanted, to, we know that puffer vests are very common in Canada. Yeah. Um, obviously now not in the summer, but. <laughs> of course, <laughs> but, but, winter, we have yeah, more winter days yeah, yeah, anyway. Yes, yes, yeah. So that's that's what uh, inspired this. And it's actually um, Pamusika in collaboration with another company in Zimbabwe. So it's made in Zimbabwe. Wow, made lovely. Made in Zimbabwe by a company called ba by Bakari. And they are also Zimbabwean, and we decided that we want to bring some of their fashions into our Kamusika family as well. Cool. Amazing. So, yeah. Now, where can our audience locate you? Yeah. Social media, phone store, online store, where? You'll find us on Instagram right now, Kamusika uh, underscore Inc. And uh, we, our website is currently under construction right okay. now while we await new inventory. But once we are online, we'll be on Kamusika.ca. Uh, That's amazing. Uh, but uh, that'll come here in the next few months or so. Amazing, yeah. lovely. This is cool. I might get this. When did you see me with this? <laughs> it's from Pamusika. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you Thank so you. much. We'll be right back. Thank you. Welcome back. Still on my city speaks to me, celebrating Canada's special day. Now, one special way we Calgarians love to end Canada Day is the tradition of fireworks. Now, this year's Canada Day fireworks will be launched from Calgary Stampede Park at 11 p.m. So, make your way to Scotsman's Hill or other surrounding downtown location overlooking the park where you get to glimpse where you get to have a glimpse of the fireworks and especially if you live around downtown you can just have a beautiful fireworks and here is where i draw the curtain of today's episode of my city speaks to me the calgary edition as always i invite you to subscribe to this channel support my work share this video and leave a comment on too so that i know that you stop by and until i bring you another amazing episode of my city speaks to me from around a beautiful city of calgary in about canada this is me signing off and like i do on this show don't move a muscle stretch let's enjoy canada day Woo!